Hello, I'm Glenn Mason, a Manchester-based psychologist and psychotherapist with a passion for using the media to raise awareness around mental health. So that tells you a little bit about me, but how can I support your media project? Research suggests having the support from others can have a positive impact on our mental health. However, many of us let these worries and concerns build up. By talking with family, friends or mental health professionals can make a big difference to your overall well-being and emotional health. Today I'm out on the streets of Belfast finding out who people turn to when the going gets tough. Um, well I suppose I have a number of people okay. that I would talk to yeah. when, when things are hard and ultimately my husband is someone that I would talk to okay. a lot. Well, I would talk to God uh -huh. and my husband. Okay. They would be the two main yeah. people I would speak to. And how does that, that help? Something that can be really helpful is I have some friends over in the States, I okay. live here in Belfast, but yeah. even to have a phone conversation with someone who's known me for, for years okay. and just take time to listen to one another and share share different struggles. Oh, you know, like I'm the one responsible for myself, so you know, I'll get myself out of it. Mm. And is, is there anyone in your life that you could possibly maybe talk to that you can maybe think of? Oh, I don't know what will come up, mate. Mm. Probably each just other. each other, yeah. Okay. Find out Texting the and Okay, so text them, what, what else would you do? Probably ring each other too, or okay. talk to work, talking or work together, yeah, so we'll work, or else. Probably uh, we only live, live like, like really close road. to each other, so we'll just okay. meet up. How can a couple overcome an affair? Yeah, yeah I think it, it's about uh, deciding what's right for, for you as a couple, um, so, and, and it's about recognising that it's not going to be an easy process, um, and that there's going to need to be a lot of time and effort putting into to rebuilding that relationship. So quite often when young people are making the decision to disclose to family or to not disclose to family, um, they often maybe test the water a bit, so they might be dropping a few hints into conversations. So when we think about autism, uh, the main thing to think about is it's often referred to autistic spectrum disorder, um, and really what that means is that it lies along a continuum. Uh, so there's lots of different characteristics that somebody might experience, but how those characteristics affect one person may be slightly different to how it affects another. The term disorder doesn't really, it doesn't fit well with me. Uh, so quite a lot of the, the, the new literature and research around um, autism is referring to it more as a condition, uh, which I think sounds a lot better because we're not... Indeed, yeah. kind I of, agree with you 100%. Yeah. Welcome to Frenemies, the show aiming to turn your frenemy back into your friend. Along with my help and a team of other professionals, we will help you get to the bottom of your differences and resolve those conflicts. Smart goals are a great way to work towards the changes that you want to make in your life. By making these goals small and specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time limited, provides a time frame to work towards. Alongside providing expert opinion to TV, radio and press, I can also offer psychological assessments for contributor suitability for your programmes. On top of that, I can provide psychological support in the development of production treatments. So please get in touch if you think I can support your media project in any way and thanks for watching.